Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of logarithms. And we are continuing our series of questions on JWE advanced. So today's question, we have taken this up from the year 2012. And if I talk about the question here, which is given to us, the question tells us to find the value of six plus log to the base 3 by 2 and the expression which is given to us is 1 by 3 root 2. square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2. square root of minus 1 by 3 root 2. square root of minus 1 by 3 root 2. so this continues on and on till it so this is the entire expression for which we have been asked to find the value and the four options that are given to us in this question are 2, 4, 6 and 8. So we have to find the value of this entire expression. Now let's solve this and get the answer for the question. So if I first only solve this expression which is given to us in the bracket, let's solve that. So 1 by 3 root 2 square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 now what I can do here is I can take like 1 by 3 root 2 into 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 this entire expression let that be y so I'm taking this entire expression as y. So what happens here is I can see y is equal to 1 by 3 root 2 square root of 4 minus. If you see this entire expression goes till infinity, right? So I can write this 1 by 3 root 2 square root of 4 minus 1 by 3 root 2 again, which is still infinity as y. So once I write that as y, I can write that as square root of 4 minus y. Now, if I take that 3 root 2 on the other side, it becomes 3 root 2 y is equal to 4 minus y. Now, once I have that in the square root, sorry. So, if I take that in the square root and square it, let's see what happens. So, squaring both the sides, this gives me 3 square 9, 9 into 2, 18. So, 18 y square is equal to 4 minus y. So, you get 18 y square plus y minus 2 is equal you have this entire expression now. Now, if I try to solve this idea, that is a quadratic equation, I need the product to become 72 and the addition to become 1 or the subtraction to become 1. So, I can write that as 18y square plus 9y minus 8y minus 4. So, if I take some things common from the two terms, I can write this as 9y common y plus 1 minus 4 y plus 1 is equal to 0. So you have your 9y minus 4 y plus 1 is equal to 0. 9y is equal to 4 or you get y is equal to minus 1. So from here you get y is 4 by 9 or you get your y is minus 1. Now when I am taking log of something I know negative value is not possible here. So we need to reject this value of y which we get here. So I can take just y as 4 by 9. Once I get y as 4 by 9, I can just put that in the value and solve it. So value was asked for the expression which was 6 plus log 3 by 2. And in the bracket, we had the expression entirely which was y. Now I know that is 4 by 9. I can write that. In terms of 3 by 2, if I want to write it, I can write that as 2 by 3 square. But if I want to write it in terms of 3 by 2, I can just write it as 6 plus log to the base 3 by 2 and this becomes 3 by 2 base 2 minus 2. So what I get here is becomes 6 plus 
log of 3 by 2 to the base 3 by 2 and minus 2 if it goes as the power it goes in the front here in terms of log because we know log a raised to b if it's there minus 2 is ahead of the log and gets multiplied. Now what I know here is log a to the base a. So log a to the base a is equal to 1. So I can write this entire expression as equal to 1. So this becomes 6 plus minus 2 into 1. That makes it 6 minus 2 which is so this was the entire value asked for this expression and that comes out of it. B is the correct answer for the question. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question. So we just needed to substitute this entire expression as y. Once we substituted that as a expression as y, we understood since it is an infinite series, this also becomes y. Got one quadratic equation, we solved that, we got a value positive for y. Just substituted that and solved it to get the answer as y. So B is the correct answer for the question in class. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWA at once. So stay tuned. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends who are involved in this preparation of JWA at once. Thank you.